Hello everybody, how is everybody doing? It has been a long time since I've been in here showing off what has sold in my eBay store. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I have 25 orders to pick for you guys today. Now, we're going to start right from the bottom, work our way to the top. And there's one very interesting sale in here, which you probably know about because I probably put it in the title and the thumbnail, but we'll be talking about that a little bit later on in the video uh, but before we do please do remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel i checked my analytics yesterday and 62 percent of my viewers of this channel are not subscribed so if that is you please do make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you know when all of my new videos become live anyway so i'm going to set my phone here and we're going to go through some of the sales on the channel uh on the ebay store sorry in the last day or so starting with a pair of glasses you're probably getting fed up with seeing my glass sales now if you didn't know already i bought a palette of glasses december or january i believe and uh, these ones have sold i sell them all in pairs 8.99 for this pair plus the postage and uh, it worked out at 49 pence i believe per glass i ended up paying just under 50 pence um once it was all calculated throughout the 800 and something that i managed to purchase so yes 8.99 that's a pretty good profit i would say on uh, on those so that is great uh this next one actually someone bought it like four days ago but they didn't have the funds so they paid this morning so i'm going to grab that one real quick i believe it is down here somewhere <laughs> somewhere right here we are so this is the item had a hard time finding that actually i must have moved it the other day when they didn't pay uh but yeah this is it uh reduced down to eight pounds on this one and it finally shifted plus five pound postage because it does weigh um about 1.5 kilos which costs a little bit more when you're shipping with hermes um a little bit cheaper if you're shipping that with royal mail but i don't use royal mail anymore so yeah yeah this started at about 25 pounds on my store and it's just come down and down and down until it finally sold uh this was part of a big bundle that i got a while ago so great to see that finally go because it was just taking up space right next up we have sold a uh stationary kit um it's like a slime making slime kit i actually sold two of these so i'm going to get them both out right now so i'll be right back right okay so here we have it these are unicorn slime kits and i had four of these two have already sold and now i've sold the last two uh these sold for 15 pounds each plus three pound 50 postage uh, so these are the last two that i had and uh, they've both gone out so that's good right next up we have a marvel ceramic mug and it's brand new so should be right here Okay, so this mug is brand new. As you can see, it still has all of the tape and the stuff and everything on it. So $18.99 we got for this one. And I believe this was Captain Marvel. I could be wrong. That's what it was listed as. Um, so I guess I did the research. <laughs> if that's wrong, let me know in the comments down below. But yes, $18.99 plus postage on that. Next up, we have some tech decks. So I'll be right back with that ramp. Right, here we go. So ramp or staircase and corner piece four pound fifty reduced and reduced reduced again again and again and finally sold uh good to have that go out it's not a full half pipe or anything like that so this kind of stuff doesn't go for oh i got an ebay message uh, let's put that on silent uh this kind of stuff doesn't go for nearly as much as like the proper ramps and stuff so that is why that has gone for so cheap but it's great to finally get it out uh because it is now out of the way right next up we've sold a vinyl i'm gonna put a picture up here uh it sold for four pounds bgs uh because it's obviously out there in the vinyl section and i have to dodge my lamp um if i want to go out there and grab it so that is what we're gonna do just put the picture up on screen as you can see four pound plus postage again another cheap one uh, i've been going through and dropping the price of a lot of this stuff that has been listed for a long time so that's what a lot of this stuff is you're seeing um it sales on stuff that i didn't want anymore so i've just reduced them to the point where they're just going to sell and get out of here because they're taking up space and i'm probably at about 80 percent capacity in here right now so that is why we're really 
um, reducing the price a lot of dead stock. Right, again, next up is another dead stock item. So I'm, I've got to find it. It's a Nickelodeon uh, one. Right, here it is. So this is a Nickelodeon Explosions and Eruptions Volcano kit. So I believe it's all brand new inside. Um, but the box is a bit damaged so yeah this one went for four pound fifty um there's really not a lot to this there's like a plastic volcano and some like chemicals in there or something uh, as you can see so yeah so i'm pretty sure i picked this up in a bundle as well i can't remember anyway it's gone so i'm happy that that one is gone next one is a good one and this is one that you guys would have seen in a recent car boot video, as you probably remember if you watch the channel regularly. This here is a, a number 18 of 4000 teapot uh, by AGA. Uh, it's Italian and it's got pizza on top. That's the little stopper there, which is why I'm holding it so it doesn't fall out. Uh, but yeah, as you can see under there. 18 or 4,000 paid three pounds for this listed it for 99 pounds and 99 pence plus three pound 50 postage and it is sold for 99 pounds and 99 pence plus three pound 50 postage so i'm very happy with that one so that's a really good sale um next up we have sold the simpsons mug right so this is a simpsons mug i paid one pound for this um, I thought it was going to be worth more, unfortunately not. £6.50 we got for this, plus £3.50 postage. Um, so maybe like four fifty after fees and taxes, I don't know. Just off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, next up we have a PlayStation DualShock 2 controller from the PlayStation 2. So I'm just going to grab that. Right, so this is a PlayStation 2 DualShock controller that I got recently at the car boot sale. I got it with the Sony... Uh, Walkman, I think. Um, but yeah, when I got it home, there's a rattle inside. So I listed this untested with a rattle. Um, I don't have a PlayStation 2 to test currently. Um, spares and repairs, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I got £5 for it plus postage. Going through GSP, so it seems to be going abroad somewhere. So that is a good bit of cover. If they tell me it doesn't work, then eBay should cover that. Um, although, if I've listed it as broken, then maybe they won't cover it. I'm not sure, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it was listed as broken, so if they've bought it, then, you know, well, it was listed as untested, so, yeah. Anyway, next up, we have sold a T-shirt for £20. I need to find it. It should be over here. Here we go. This is a brand new T-shirt. This is Disclosure Big Tree Energy. And uh, size XL sold for $19.99 plus £3.50 postage. And uh, I'm very happy with this one. That's a good sell. I actually have another one in black. Um, so if anyone's interested, let me know. Right, next up we've sold a pair of shoes. Adidas Women. Probably these ones, I would presume. I'll get them down and then I will double check. I'm fairly certain. Again... These were price edited recently. Uh, yeah, these are the ones. So £14 I got for these. Um, and I edited the price on the 3rd of this month. So maybe like four days ago and they have sold. And these were up on the store for about six months. So yeah, editing your prices on stuff that doesn't sell is definitely worthwhile. Um, if you haven't done that in a while. Uh, what I do is I sort by age on, uh, on eBay. And I just run through the list, change the price, and then uh, I put a little note on there saying in the SKU that I've edited this. And that was a tip that I got from Carboot Chris uh, over on Cookie and Hayden channel. So thank you, Tim. I've been doing that and I've been selling a lot of stuff that I've reduced the price of. And um, yeah, that's literally all I'm doing to those uh, listings right now. Um, if in the future there's stuff that still hasn't sold, I'll probably go through, change the title, maybe even the photos. Um, if there's some good stuff that needs to be changed. Right, next up we have sold a one litre bottle of Amber Elegance. Again, this is out there, so I'm not going to go grab it. Because um, it's an obstacle course to get through that light. Uh, but I'll put a picture here. 
is literally just the bottle of fragrance that goes into an evaporator, I believe, or some sort of system that puts it into the air for you. Um, but yeah, £20 on that. Next up, we have sold a Liverpool third Euro kit away shirt from 2012-2013 season, and that is an A80. So that should be here. There it is. A80, as you can see, this is how I do all of my clothes now. Um, I bag them, I tag them, I put the skew, and then when this gets sent off, I'll take it out of this bag, package it up. This bag will keep A80 on, and then when I list another item of clothing, it will go into A80, um, and that will go back into that. So this bag is fully reusable hundreds, if not thousands of times. Um, throughout the years of my reselling future um, so yeah these plastic bags do not get sent along with the item which is uh, really good um, because people were telling me you need to be more what is it environmentally friendly use less plastic so I said okay I will design a system around such points I guess arguments debate I don't know uh, next up we have sold a bag the question is where did I put the bag because it's an expensive bag and I don't know where I put it ah it was right there it was blending in okay right so this is a brand new Kurt Geiger bag that I managed to get off of my contact um, I'll get this out for you I actually, I actually hate this bag because it's made of sequins and I hate sequins uh, but there we go, someone liked it. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's all sequiny. Kurt Geiger of London with a chain. Some weird, like, bird on the back. Um, but yeah, brand new. Someone actually bought it to attend a wedding with. Um, so there we go. Comes with this little uh, bag to keep it nice and tidy. It was listed for 55 but she sent me an offer of 45 And trust me, I paid a lot less than that, so... I was happy to take 45 because there hadn't really been any bites on this item since uh, I listed it. So I was happy to take that. Um, I could have just said no and she may have just ended up paying full price. But I didn't know that for sure. And I would rather sell it for 45 than not sell it at all. Yeah, anyway, moving on, we have a sold a puzzle. Uh, Mike Jupp, I love boats. So that should be over here. I love boats. Here we go. I do love these puzzles. They do sell really well. Uh, I love boats. Um, I think I paid £2 for this. Sold for £12.50. So, uh, yeah, this seems to be Titanic in the back. Um, still sailing, not sinking. Uh, so that's a good thing. Anyway, £12.50 plus postage. This one has sold. I believe it's probably a thousand pieces. It usually is. Yep. Uh, 1,000 pieces right there. Uh, next sale is the other Unicorn Slime Kit, which I showed you earlier. After that, we have sold a uh, Minnie Mouse mug, which... Is it this one? That would be really quite easy if it was this one. I have two very similar, so... Uh, yes, it is this one. Okay. It was right there. £12 on this one. Um, there we go. Fairly simple. Not a lot to talk about. Pink Minnie Mouse mug. £12 plus postage. Next up, we've sold a metal die cast ornament. Now this, I know where this is. It's in this bucket over here, but it's right at the bottom. So I'm going to pick that out after I finish filming. And I'm going to put a picture here for you now. It's just a little uh, metal helmet. I paid like... 30 pence for it at a charity shop um, ages ago. Uh, again, this was one of the items that I've gone through and recently uh, lowered the price down to £9.82. Not sure why £9.82. Maybe I sent an offer out after I'd reduced the price. Probably £10 with 5% off. Sold at 9 82 Someone do the maths on that. I don't know. Uh, it's sold regardless and uh, that will be going out next up we've sold a surveillance families uh, narrow boat which is actually 
boom <laughs> right here 39 pounds and 99 pence there we go look at that there is some bits inside as well uh but yeah i love selling stuff like this 40 pounds now did i buy this at a car boot sale or a charity shop i can't remember i can't remember maybe charity shop maybe i don't know car boot probably uh but yeah 40 pounds very happy with that that would just go in a box and uh bish bash bosh next up we've sold some pyrex for 15 pounds so that should be down here somewhere let me just make sure i get the pattern so i don't pick up the wrong one ah, okay it's the small one with the little blue right here we go so this is the pyrex uh pot or whatever it's called casserole dish uh in question very nice white with this uh marking on here uh with the lid um glass lid adds a couple of pounds uh to the sale and uh yeah 14.99 plus postage on that one right what have we sold next ah we sold another t-shirt a66 so that should be back here a66 very fast to find 12 pounds took an offer on this last night uh this is a rider cup adidas shirt i believe um is it adidas yes adidas 12 pounds um so yeah very happy with that one Sold another t-shirt. This one does not have a skew. So this will be an end bucket. This is a medium size queen shirt. Yep, so this is the shirt. This is just the queen Adam Lambert one. Uh, this one doesn't have a sticker on um, because it wasn't marked. It just went into that bin over there. I knew where it was. Um, so this one will go back for recycling as well and that was five pounds 25 on that one right next up we have the interesting item right so this is the penultimate sale of the day and this is the one that you've all clicked on the video to see this is a head pyramid power dominion squash racket vintage with the bag so let me get it out of the bag so we can have a look because you may be seeing this on tv maybe i don't know Whoop. uh there is two racket balls in here or two squash balls as well uh so yeah this is a squash racket with a blue and red hand uh red frame i guess you could call it uh sold for nine pounds 99 again this was one of the items that i had reduced uh but the reason why i'm excited about this because this has been purchased by uh the crown Netflix TV series, uh, the prop department, I presume, uh, because it's going off to the TV studio. I've lost one of the balls, hang on. Let's pick it up, there we go. Put that back in there. Yeah, this has been bought by the uh, the TV studios in, let me grab the uh, thing so I can tell you. Uh, in Elms Tree Studios, The Crown. Um, so yeah, I guess one of the royals in the TV show, the Netflix show, will be going off to play squash at some point. And uh, in the next series, if you see someone playing squash and it looks like this, you know where it come from. So I'm very happy with that because I actually love The Crown. Uh, the Crown and Victoria, two um, royal family related uh, TV shows, which I really like. Uh, so if this shows up in the show, I'm going to be very happy. Um, yeah. I got £10 for it and it's going to potentially be on the crown. So very happy with that. So this one is off to Elms Tree Studio. Um, it says set December. So I guess they'll be filming this scene in December. Um, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe the set is called December. Um, but that's where it's going. Uh, so yeah. How awesome is that? <laughs> um, I've sold stuff to the queen before believe it or not this is not lies i sold a set of uh uranium glass and it went off to one of the queen's properties um around um hyde park so that was interesting so i sold directly to the royal family or someone buying stuff for the royal family 
and now I've sold to the set of the crown which is about the royal family so yeah I've also sold to prisons which is weird um but yeah I guess inmates get to buy stuff on eBay who would have known uh, next up and last item is a two set of San Miguel glasses and they're actually downstairs so we'll put a picture right here so yeah today's video is now complete hopefully you have enjoyed if you have again please do feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already if you are subscribed please hit the bell the notification so you will know exactly when the next video is coming out and i've actually just sold another two glasses i just sold a set of cause light glasses for seven pounds don't know if i can block the name here but there we go some cause light glasses have just sold oh that's funny and i have a offer of five pounds on a ten pound item no thank you